Hey well. there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing some Astro Colony today because it combines some things I really like. Space, factory building, and excess. And also, Astro Colony has been kind enough to sponsor this whole video. So if you like what you see, there's a link in the description to check it out Let's for yourself. Go! Our journey begins with us on a glorious spacecraft. And look at that, we have companions. And what are you? Humanity seeks opportunities to discover... Yeah, whatever, Curse Kazad. I'm trying to connect with the other human beings around here. Well, this is my assignment. I guess I'll see you guys on the server with me, right? Right? I'm Guys? Scared. Where are you going? Oh! Well, whatever. I'm sure there's plenty of fun to be had without them. Just like you, tutorial bot. We're gonna put you to sleep for now till we need you. If ever we need you. Anyway, so here we are in our you brand new home. Forever. As you can see, it's just a platform for now. But that's okay. We've got the infinity of space around us. And besides being on this platform, we've got all these asteroids flying around. Correction. Oh, yeah. Was flying being... around. What? Anyway, the first step to all of this is that's we need to get some materials. Astral. And in order to do that, we gotta harvest these asteroids. Luckily, they're not outside of our grasp, even though they look far away. Because not only can we do a little jumping, but we can do a little hovering, too. So now we can just fly anywhere and get to anything we need. And once we're you up close and asteroid? personal with the asteroid, that's when we do some manual mining. Yep, Ooh. that's the spirit. It's what you like to see. Smacking it for materials as well as basic science. I didn't know that's where science comes from. I'm learning so much. Nah, but for real, this is what the science stuff is for. Unlocks and upgrades galore. And not just basic science, but all kinds kinds of others like engineering and chemistry and biology and space and blah blah blah. Can't wait for this docking technology though. So as an example we've got five basic science and unlock oxygen which obviously we're gonna yeah, need. Oxygen? Wait or are we? I know we have our what oxygen have down here. I know it sounds time. stupid but what happens when we run out? And in fact let's combine that with another test. Like sure we could float like this all the time or we can not float and just go right off the side and just fall <laughs> and fall and just keep on falling. For how long can we do this? Excellent question. Pretty sure there's only one way to find out. Take me, beautiful space. Reveal to me the secrets of the universe. And also let me know what happens when my O2 runs out. Ooh, and while we're falling, what is this thing? I guess there wouldn't be any harm in checking it out while we're down here. Easy there. <laughs> Keep it in your sights. Oh, let's the see. Timing. What do we have here? Looks like a space island. Ugh. And I'm okay. And I believe this is telling me that the name of this, um, this landmass of sorts is called Silent Space. Because if we look on our map here, not only it does do it show silent. me on this little landmass thingy, where it is indeed labeled as Silent Space, but look at that, we have other things all around us, like Gotherdia, or Nuki Land, or Linus Techius. Oh, this game, Linus you have such a Techius. sense of humor. <laughs> anyway, it also lets you know what kind of stuff is on this little planet, like all of these different deposits. Oh, and good news, you can reform this landmass to your heart's desire. Oh, and goodness no. knows I love that. Oh, Especially no, when you keep digging straight down. Until when? Oh, you know, until you fall through the bottom. And thus we continue our journey. We're also either out of oxygen or getting close to it, judging by all the flashing. And I think this little <laughs> bar that's slowly going down is the rest of my life. And all I can say is I'm really impressed with us. It takes us a really long time to suffocate after we run out of oxygen. Okay, mm -hmm. moment of truth. What happens? Do we just like respawn or something? <laughs> Failure. Failure. Your character died. <laughs> well, that'll teach me. So let's head on over to some of these asteroids and do a little extracting. Presumably, we're gonna need whatever comes out of these anyway. So we'll just go ahead and smack at them for a while till we feel like we have a good amount of them. So we'll just smack some of these and also some of these. Not to mention some ice, which makes perfect little ice cubes and so on and so forth. Now that we got a couple of minerals, let's go ahead and open up our inventory and do a little hand crafting. All we gotta do is click on this little recipe thingamabob and then we can make our dude busy himself with just making as many iron bars and copper bars <laughs> by hand. Or as I read that, he's by making hand. iron bar hands. Either way, here we go. Taking those materials <laughs> and automatically converting them into bars. And of course, we can't make these other things quite Damn, yet because strong. we haven't unlocked them. So over here, back in the world he's of unlocks, first we'll go ahead and unlock bars. oxygen, which in turn unlock the oxygen generator. And then we'll unlock the other things we need, like handcrafting that wire that was previously locked, as well as the electricity thingamabob, which is going to let us make carbon reactors, as well as electric cable. What? a deal. Okay, so let's see. We're running out of oxygen and fast. We need to build an oxygen generator post haste. Okay, there we go. Where's my oxygen? What Done. do I do? Do I just like put my mouth on that or that or both just somehow? In. Wait, never mind. You just add ice and then you use it to refill your oxygen like so. Ice. Ah, and thank God we can breathe again because it's time to do a little bit more of this. Yeah, we should also probably satisfy some of our curiosity with whatever this is over here. Let's see. What do we have here? Looks like we have a land mass that doesn't believe in dark mode. But more than that, we have iron deposits. Well, time to get 
get started. Can I just like dig out this and just carry the big chunk home? That sure would be nice. No sense in not trying. So let's kind of just hollow out this entire thing and see if we can. Okay, just continuing to hollow it out. Okay, mm -hmm. it's all gone. It's just this thing now. No such luck though. It turns out this is the landmass now. Okay, fine. We'll just do this the old fashioned way. Don't worry though. We'll automate this eventually. And uh, done. Bad. Finally. I feel really good having eliminated something from outer space. And now we have a cool 561 iron. And now that we have all these majestic supplies, it's time to do a little bit of building. First things first, we need to build this. A carbon reactor. This is our first step into automation with something that can generate power. Basically, you just go up to this thing, take a bunch of our carbon ore, shove it right into the machine. Oh my Shut goodness, it it's so beautiful and powered. And polluting right into space. <laughs> and then we can build a bunch of wire that can connect to other machines and power those too. And to make things even okay, more fun, we can wire infinite, upwards can too. How high up, I wonder? Well, right now this pull, high, pull, because we don't have more pull. wire for that. Oh, so for now, we'll just have this here. Ah, good, how useful. I'm sure we'll find a use for it at some point. But for now, it's time to unlock more stuff. I probably should have mentioned, but this thing just keeps going. Like, we have kind of normal sounding stuff, like yes. smelting and water. But then we have more wild stuff, like asteroid catching and cosmic harpoons. Not to mention moving into my favorite thing, automation. All I can hope is that we get to poultry farming, because God, does that egg look good. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's unlock this entire row of stuff. There we go, we're instantly smarter in six more things. Let's start with asteroid catching. <laughs> Device to manually catch like, asteroids and process done. them. Oh, how I'm excited for this. And we'll go ahead and just connect it to some power. And now it's ready to yank asteroids right out of the sky. Let's give it a shot. Oh boy, which one do we want to choose? Well, that one's got copper and that'll make more wire. So let's go ahead and grab that one. Oh, and now it's inside me. No, wait, here it is. Being processed into dust. And then after it's processed, it just sits here. I mean, for now. Eventually, it's gonna pop out of this little chute. Wait, if I pick up one and I pick up another? Oh, okay. If I pick up another, it just waits. And then we get to watch as it awkwardly holds this one in place <laughs> while it works on the other one. And then when it's time, there you go. Unfortunately, we can only have one queued up at a time. If we want to grab another one, we have to let go of this one first. And then we can grab another one. Anyway, let's get things rolling out of this hatch. But we can't do that quite yet. Not until we unlock logistics, so which gives us conveyor belts. My favorite. Yes, please unlock. It's time to go nuts with conveyor belts. We'll do one small line just to see how it looks. Well, there it is. Minerals mm -hmm. and everything coming right off it. Oh, and the little door shuts. How polite. Then I think I really can just kind of aim it around. No, yep. but it can doesn't. I make it go back this way? <laughs> the answer is no. I think I'm starting to understand how this works. I can't put it right there. That's not the right place for it. But how about you right here, like this? Yeah, see, there we go. It's just one straight conveyor belt hurling its stuff onto another straight conveyor belt and then another one. Works for me because it's time for us to send these minerals on a journey. Oh, and you know what else? We can also ramp them up. Oh, happy day. <laughs> Day no. for me. Well, I think we can see where this is going. Somewhere most amazing. There we go. That's more like it. So many beautiful layers of conveyor belts. And not just a feast for the eyes on top of our platform, but it also goes underneath. I'm so happy because it's so unnecessary. Minerals, watch <laughs> out. Hostile at nine o'clock. Tango down. Nice job. At present time, though, these don't actually even go anywhere. Like a mineral enters the system here, slowly making its way through the conveyor belt. And after a whole lot of wandering around, it makes its way down and joins all of its friends. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to the club. And then they just kind of go through this entire system before popping out this side and looping back around again. So it all can't be for good looks. This Great. stuff has got to be used for something. Like, let's put Very down useful. a smelter. Yeah, here seems good. Oh, yeah, it's already perfect. You know, with it clipping through the conveyor belt? just the way we like it. And this should be really easy to set up. See that right there? That's power. And this is where the materials go in. The machine's any, if you will. And then after they're processed, they come out this other side here, which I'm going to be honest, I don't know if this is going to work since there's a railing in the way, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. First, let's deal with the power stuff, which should be easy enough, you know, as we weave it through all of these conveyor belts, as one does. And there we go. Oh, now it's God. got electricity that goes all the way over here and then over there and then over here, maybe through like a little bend and then back around. You get the idea. The important part is that this thing is powered now. And now let's set some conveyor belts to go into that space right there. It's time to come in for a landing. Ah, oh, yeah, and there they go. And look at that. It's collecting all the materials but also turning them into bars. Okay, moment of truth. Over here on the other side, let's see if we can actually attach something or if this railing is in the way. 
All right, it works just fine. Well, time to give this a path out of here. And out we go. There we go. It's out in the front. I'm not sure why I continue to weave everything with everything else, but it sure looks fun, doesn't it? Look at these bars bouncing up and down. And here's the thing. Even though we've got these minerals back to the ground, we have a slight conundrum on our hands. The smelter can't do anything with ice cubes, so it just spit them out. But now we've got all of these bars of different types, all on the same that. conveyor belts. Well, that's where these come in. Logistics blocks. We got all the greats here. Blocking and filtering and pushing. Okay, so let's see. We can take this ice and I think we can shove it into this machine. As a reminder, this is our oxygen generator thing. So we need to get these ice cubes into that hatch, but only these ice cubes. So let's take our little pusher block here, aim it that way. And then from the pusher block itself, we can tell it to push through only ice. And then we'll put another conveyor belt. Yep, there we go. And now all the ice knows to go that way until we run out of ice. And then it just stops. And for everything else, we're going to filter it right down below here where we're we're gonna set the pushed resources to be all of these different types of bars. There we go. We do have a lot of bars though. And where are they all gonna go? Well, we're gonna use it for this thing right here, engineering. Because we need to build a laboratory to generate more science points. Not these, of course, we have 916 of these. But all the other ones, we can go through the lab to get them. I guess we'll just put this right here and just connect the whole thing. There we go. Look at the process working. Things routing to where they're supposed to. The important part is that it's all going in the slot. All the colors of the metal bar rainbow. Oh, right. I guess it needs power, too. Well, no problem. We could just wire it from right here. I mean, why not, right? After all, we have this beautiful exposed wire just sitting here waiting to be used with asteroids crushing against it <laughs> and connected. It couldn't be more simple because in my mind, electricity is magic. Look, it's like a goal in space. There we go. Take those types of bars and engineer it down into points. Now that we've got that handled, there's something else we need to solve. I and that's that we've run out of things running on this conveyor belt. Well, that just won't do, which has I a pretty finished. simple explanation as to why, which is to use this thing, we have to climb in and do all the work ourselves. And yeah, that gets the job done. But how about instead of doing all that, we work our way to this automated yes. catching, which allows us to build the auto asteroid catcher. Can I just replace this one with that one? That was me removing it, by the way, even though it looks like my carbon reactor it ate sucked. it. Anyway, let's put this automated one down right Right here and connected to power. Okay, let's. Oh my god, you've already got an asteroid. You've already got two asteroids. I didn't even get to see what it does. Let's just sit back and watch. <laughs> so, just like the other version, it pulls in a rock, slowly eats it, and then it sucks in the next one. Oh, oh. No, 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 see, now that's the kind of convenience I wanted. But we can't just stop with one, can we? I don't think so. Especially to even get to automated catching like this, we had to unlock construction, which means look at all these floor tiles we have access to. We've got like oh, plain no. ones and more detailed thingy. ones. And while I I love that there's all this default variety. You know what I really love about these? Duplicate to customize. And boy, oh, oh boy, no. do I love custom coloring things. How about pink and Stop. brighter pink? And let's name it, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see how this looks. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so perfect. This extra god, space should do nicely, horrible. especially because it's so beautiful. You know what? Why stop with one when we could have it several like with a whole bunch of different tile. varieties of hideous colors? There we go. God, it's hideous. I'm so uh, happy about it. And now to add some more of these. Okay, so we have four now, and it's every bit as exciting as I hoped it would be. A whole bunch of asteroids just flying in from outer space over and over and over oh, and god. over. But again, I have to ask you, is this enough? I think we know the answer to that. So hold, please, stop. while I turn this into this. That is definitely more Why? like it. That's right. We've got a couple more of these things now. And by a couple more, I mean 155 in total. All here vacuuming up asteroids as fast <laughs> as they can. I mean, look at this. It's like a Hollywood premiere going on over here. <laughs> right here in space. And all of this in our beautiful, hideous, multicolored patterns. Kind of like how I used to mash up my Lego as a kid. No rhyme, no reason, all colors invited. And of course, to power such a thing, we ended up building a lot more reactors, of which I made, I believe, 26 in total. Total, all of which now are automatically getting all of the carbon they need to function because I was mm -hmm. able to use these little logic splitters to make sure all the carbon gets split evenly. And right now, all the carbon is actually only coming from all of the asteroid catchers along the far edge because right now they're the only ones with conveyor belts hooked up to them. And let's not forget that on every single one of these, there's a second hatch. And it's in this space that we're going to set up another <laughs> conveyor belt little that'll little capture the materials farming. from Welcome both of these my hatches. Minecraft. Okay, so let's here goes play. nothing. Let's see how it looks. Oh, good. It's coming out of the one farming. side. And I got to be honest, that's probably 
probably good enough for me. Okay, so let's go all the way to the front and run a conveyor belt all the way back. Why front to back, you wonder? I don't know. Okay, great. Now we've got materials flowing in from all of oh, these various God. corridors. And we're going to run a conveyor belt all the way across. And we're going to have them all collect on this side, where this one will finally be going back to front. And we're going to connect that back over here, back to the original it conveyor hurts belt. My brain. It feels so good to see everything teeming with life once again. I kind of wondered if all these materials was too much for this one smelter to take. And then I realized I don't care. Either way, I think we have our basic material needs squared away. And now I think it's time we turn our eyes back to the stars. Because while we're handily pulling asteroids right out of the ether, I want to know how we can pull that thing down. And for that, we're going to try something called the Cosmic Harpoon. Now, first things first, it wants oh us to build a little dock thing, which if we get close enough to the edge, these arrows appear. And then we can build it right along there. I did notice it's like any edge piece is where you can put it, like right there. But we'll put it along this edge for now. And there we go. We've got our harpoon dock thingy with a harpoon on the top and this weird centrally pulsing ball. So this thing actually works similar to the asteroid shut catcher, up, except I instead of catching like asteroids, we can try to catch these planetoids. That is provided they're close Maybe enough, 15. which this one is not. But if we aim it up at this one, we can see that it is. There we go. That's the spirit. What a momentous occasion. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I guess that's as far as it's gonna go. But don't you worry, we're not done yet. Pulling planetoids to us is really only half the function of this thing. The second half is some sweet, sweet docking. And to do that, we need to place a dock over the on docking. the actual planetoid. Like so. And now let's access this harpoon connector and click dock. Oh, we're moving. And now the planetoid oh. is nice and lined up. Ta-da! Okay, wait, the now dock. that this is connected, I gotta know. If we undock this so that the thing is not connected anymore, can we instead install a dock like way over here? in the middle of this mess. Can we redock it from here? Oh, <laughs> looks like the answer is yes. And look at that. It's part of our station now. It's fully decided that it belongs with us. I All right, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm pretty sure we can get this even closer in. But if we're going to do that, we should up the ante. So bear with me. I've got an idea for something of which we're oh, going to use the help no. of our beautiful assistant, the hot dog tiling. So first, let's go back over here and do oh, a little no. undocking and set up a new docking station all the way out here and get ready for more docking. Yep. <laughs> Here it comes. Freshly dislodged and coming in for a landing. Okay, now that it's all the way out here, we're gonna build something on this before we send it back in. And for that, we're gonna no, utilize stop. blueprints. Because who doesn't want to save time making templates while also building something absolutely obnoxious? So come on a journey with me while we mess around with electrical cable. This will make sense, I swear. Okay, so here we got one long line of wire. And before I add on to that, I just want you to see what this looks like. If I put four of them next to each other, it makes a nice little circle. And if I put another bunch on top, of them. It makes this thing. And if I add another layer to the whole thing, oh, my brain. So let's apply that principle. Except over here in Stop. Blueprint Land, we're gonna make one vertical slice. You know, for a moment there, I feel like this might be too much. <laughs> but then I remembered all I like is too much. And now that we have our big, beautiful blueprint, let's put it to use. Okay, easy. Easy. Try to keep it in line. Don't worry, I'm sure this is gonna look great after it's all said and done. Oh yeah, there we go. It's it. perfect. Asteroid, do you have a death <laughs> wish? You wanna go up against the board cube of electrical cable? You know, never mind. I don't know what I was expecting. Now, I don't think I can put it on the edge like this because I'm fairly certain that whatever connector there is, it has to be facing the same orientation as that one. I mean, let's test just in case. Yeah, see, there we go. No matching opposite dock found. That's mm -hmm. okay. I have a solution for that. It's called putting floor tiles right on that railing. See, doesn't that look professional? And it looks like the dock agrees. Okay, fingers crossed. The dock agrees. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, there we go. Conveniently insulated in this giant slab of instant ramen. I can tell you this much, I wouldn't instant change a thing. Ramen. Except for maybe finding more things to pull to us. You want to be closer to us, right? Well, come on down. We're also going to modify our blueprint here. I can't Stop. help but wonder something. How far out will this template let me build? Like, is there a limit at all? I guess let's oh, find God. out. Okay, so I've been placing wires for a while now. I don't know if you can see way in the distance. There's like one <laughs> row of pixels. Like if we zoom all the way back, we can see where we start. Started, but it's really far away. So I don't really know if there's a limit. Don't worry though, we're not done trying. Here's something I've noticed though, the farther out I get. As I'm building stuff, I couldn't help but notice that there's actually like space elements out here, uh -huh. out here in the void that is the blueprint. So after seeing this, I was looking around and I was like, wait, what is that? So let's go <laughs> investigate. And as we get closer, no! I couldn't help but notice more space-like stuff is appearing. You wanna know just how far away we are right now? Here, let me show you where we were. Do you see that, oh, that pale God. blue dot? Yeah, that's where we were. 
before. Before we entered into magical fake space. Okay, here we are, finally. Yep, it's a piece of something, all right. Look at that, complete with minerals and everything. What can the I fuck mine is these? That? Yep, I sure can. What? <laughs> Don't mind if I do, I guess. Wait, can I speed this up? I do have a drill that I haven't used yet. Can I set these up in magical fake world? Oh, it's gonna need power. No problem. I'll just put it right over here. Oh, no. Do you see the screen pulsing? That means we're running out of oxygen back in the real world. I wonder if we can just build an oxygen <laughs> generator here. Fiddlesticks, you can't use it. All right, hold on. Gotta exit the designer, I guess. To go back to juicing up our oxygen. Now back into the dream world. And shockingly enough, I actually can't find the little planetoids anymore. No. So I guess it's back to building this thing. And you know what I can safely say after doing this for a while? I don't think there's a limit. I think it really will just let me do this forever. I think the only limit is the total cost. So as long as you have this much copper wire to make all Jesus. of that electric cable, it apparently will just let you do it. I also can't just hold down the button and make one long line. At a certain point, it just stops and this is how far you can take it. And then you have to put that part down and then start up again. Okay, I think this might be far enough. Woo. We definitely can't see where we started. I also went and removed all the rest of the wiring so it's really just one giant long wire. Which is how slammed. I know when it says the total cost is 5,180 copper wire. That's how I know that this wire is indeed 5,180 blocks long. Okay, at long last, let's try this out. Let's see, we should see it. Yep, there it is. And just like you'd expect, it extends all the way into deep space. And deploy. <laughs> yep, there it is. In all its glory. Amazingly, even from this distance, you can still see all our nonsense. Plain as day. One downside, on the other hand, is going there and back again almost got me killed. But that's okay, I've got a backup plan for that. But first, let's mess around with these a little bit more. Every time I go to place it, the game does freeze for a good five seconds, which always feels really good. But then it recovers <laughs> gracefully. Look at that, it's like my own interstellar pathway to the stars. Well, no sense in stopping there. Especially when I can rotate. Oh, good, oh, just God, what I wanted. No. More of these things to put down. Well, might as well just keep adding them. We want this to be the most majestic place in the galaxy. Well, the good news is it's going to be really hard to ever lose track of my station. Not when I've got it connected to all these space lassos. Well, that's enough horsing around for this. Time for some space docking. Here we go. Oh, oh God, it doesn't oh. like doing this. I can tell you that oh, no, much. The Here's the frames unhappy. going away that we were all hoping for. <laughs> oh my God, it's so stuck. And now that it's stationary again, good old frames are back with us. Okay, so here's what I want now. I was looking around and I keep seeing little anomalies like this. And by that, I mean a star that's probably like 10 bajillion light years away. But I don't know. I want to see if we can walk to it. And for the next part, we're hopping back into the blueprint thingy where we're going to build something to complement our wires. Oh and what is that, God. you may wonder? Some roads. And don't worry, we're going to vary the color. Okay, and that should about do it. Our single file rainbow road uh, is now complete. No. And finally, we need to be able to breathe. So one of the things we do have is this, the oxygen barrier. It's actually quite easy to make. And once you connect it to some power, it creates this really exciting bubble for oxygen. Look at that. That could be Woo! us breathing normally and everything. That said, that's not the only thing it needs to function. The barrier needs the oxygen generator active with oxygen tanks. That can't be too hard, right? This is our oxygen generator right here. And the way we make oxygen tanks from it is we have to feed it water. To make water, we need something called an icebreaker, which requires us to feed ice into this thing, and then it'll turn it into water. And then we can attach these little water tank things, which over time will fill up with water. And then we can use pipes to send that water over to the oxygen generator. And that's it. Now it's making oxygen tanks. I don't really understand the science how this spotlight into the sky is able to magically <laughs> connect with the oxygen tanks in this thing. But what do I look like, a NASA engineer? All I know is we can breathe in the bubble. And now that right? we've got that like squared away, I think it's rainbow road time. So first we're just gonna place the power down. He's and now it's time for the road. Engage. Ah, there it is. Look at that. All sorts of ready for an adventure. And if at oh, any God. point we need an oxygen top off, we can just put down one of these things. Instant oxygen. You know, I didn't realize that I could actually click and hold and add a bunch of these at once, too. What the hell is it going to look like if I put down this many? Oh, oh. wow. Welcome to cyberspace. Oh, Population fun. us. What does this even look like from the outside? Oh, I see. It's like the beginnings of a space caterpillar. All right, well, hold on. We can do better than that. Let's just add a couple of more. Brace your ears. Ah, what a glorious sound effect that we get to listen to over and over again. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Space caterpillar, welcome to the universe. Anyway, where were we? What Let's break fight? out of the matrix and continue onwards. Okay, we're at the end of the first built path, which means we're 5,000 blocks from when we started. Thanks to the 
asteroid catches, though, you can still see our base. Just barely. But that means we still got a lot of distance to cover. So now it's time to add part two. Okay. Oh, and in case you were curious, I'm fairly certain that we can't see our base anymore. Okay, so we've been traveling for quite a while now. And something has caught my eye. What the hell is that? Guns I don't know, but we should go over to it. Let's Explore. add another path this oh, way. God. And of course, can't forget the electricity. Okay, I think we're basically <laughs> there. This thing is almost perfectly perpendicular to us. Luckily, we can use our pathways to tell if we're actually going to intersect with it. And it looks like we need to be a little more to the left. Okay, I think I did it. Ah, close it enough. Works. Fingers crossed. Let's see how this goes. It's getting closer. Well, here we are. Looks like a black hole or a wormhole or something. And it go seems ahead. like it ate a portion of my path. Well, I guess we have no choice, do we? We got to go right into the center and see what yep. happens. <laughs> Failure. Oh, oh, you just die. Well, yeah, of course you do. Wait, so what happens when I try to build into it? <laughs> Oh, it just no. goes away, I see. Let's go ahead and map the perimeter around this thing and see just how close we can get before it eats everything. And can't forget to go around the other side. Place some down and watch some of it get immediately sucked in. Okay, there we go. And now that we're just sitting here chilling with a black hole, I have one more idea. Here's a couple of things we haven't looked at yet. Like more docking, but a different kind of docking. This kind's gonna work hand in hand with human migration, which is to say, we're gonna bring people to a us. And as you can see in the upper docking. right corner, the there's a shuttle that's coming in a really short time from now. <laughs> So let's go ahead and call some astronauts to us. I'll take five astronauts, please. Now all we need to do is wait for the shuttle to arrive. <laughs> Damn. And there it is. Just Greetings like and that, salutations, huh? my new astronaut friends. I bet you're wondering where we are. Well, too bad. You can't leave anyway. Welcome to your new home, right outside of a black hole. Actually, what am I doing? Why did I build this right here? Why not build it over here near the black hole? All right, let's see. Is it really going to let me do this? Yep, it sure- oh, oh, oh no! Oh no, there oh. it went! Oh my god, oh my god, this is so exciting. Hold it's on, let's it try in. it from the front. Oh, uh, uh, okay, there it goes. All right, hang on, let's erase this layer and get it out of the way. All these astronauts are over here like, what the hell was that guy doing? Wait, what is that? Are you guys over there so just complaining hungry. that you're hungry? Why can't you be hungry for murder like I am? Okay, there we go. It's far enough back so it's not getting sucked into the black hole. Oh boy, and another shuttle is coming soon. I would like to order some more astronauts, please. Okay, here they come. Easy, easy. Oh, I guess it's not affected by the black uh, hole. <gasps> oh, oh. What the? <laughs> Oh, oh, I see. Well, that was, uh, that was most unexpected. Hello, cadet. Did you notice your four friends fly off into space to die forever? Don't worry too much. I'm sure they're screaming at the top of their lungs right now. Don't worry, I'll summon you some more friends. Okay, let's watch it from the front this time. Oh, the gateway lit up. Here we go. It's showtime. Have fun in outer space forever. This is just, this is just great. Those astronauts are really dead, by the way. Look at this. You can see all of our available astronauts, all seven of them. I originally mailed ordered 15. That means that they are well and truly dead. Well, I know what I'm going to be doing for the next millennia, and it's definitely not taking out every single person in the space program. I want to thank Astro Colony again for sponsoring this entire video. So if you like what you oh saw, God. check out the link in the description, and you can pick up the like game for yourself. It might even Nagio be on sale right now if you play your cards right. So I hope you had fun. I definitely did. And I'll see mating. you next time.